This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Rouser versus Middleton. You all have been dating almost a year. Yeah. Um, and you worked together at one time, but you are now bringing your girlfriend to this court because you believe she's cheating. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. I know for a fact that she's cheating, so... Tell me the warning signs that you've seen that indicate she's yeah. cheating. I mean, I'm telling you, like, I know she's cheating on me. Like, I mean, things are not consistent anymore. She's not doing the things that she used to do. Staying out late at night, not answering the phone. It's like, okay, well, where are you at? You know, if any other time, if we go home together, why are you not, you know, answering the phone when I call you? Okay, but we're both young, working. We're there not we married. I don't understand why I have to have a timestamp when I'm coming and going. I don't understand why that's become the basis of why you feel like I'm cheating on you. I mean, you're right, but don't do that in the beginning and then stop doing that. That doesn't make any sense. It's not even a year. That okay, because sense. you've been the same and person from day one, right? Well, Mr. Rouser, okay. staying out late, not answering the phone. Yeah. What else is she doing to make you think she's cheating? I found out that she's spending time with other people. You know, um, we worked in the same place, and it's this new guy that came to, you know, came to our job and stuff, and all of a sudden, you taking breaks with him, and you hanging out with him, going out to eat, you going to the same places that we go out to eat. Don't show nobody something that I showed you. Okay, like, don't, 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 don't do that. Like, that, that's, that's corny. Like, don't show nobody that. And then, I'm on break, I go downstairs, and y'all sitting in the car, ha ha, kiki in. Like, what is y'all talking about? In the okay, car. Well, so you talk. got all these warning signs that are just making you think that she's cheating on you. Yeah. I love Jay very much. But you want more consistency from me and more commitment from me, then we need to talk about a more serious relationship. We've always had other friends. And I've never pressed you about who you hang out with and what you do, especially when we work together. I get to see you flirting with girls coming in, requesting songs in your DJ booth and all that. That's not necessary, but I never give you a hard time about that. And what I'm hearing is this. You are saying, we're not married. I should have friends. But I think the difference is you seem to have zoned in on one person and you're spending what he believes is his time with that person. Now, I'm not saying you are. I'm just telling you what I heard. Right, you hear his insecurity. Okay, Correct. well, I didn't say that. All I heard was... And then what I hear you saying to him is, okay, if you want to take it to the next level, why aren't we moving there? I, I don't hear him saying anything about you know, like, good things. I know I've been a great girlfriend to you, but you just stress on the things that, that are, like, red flags or she's out with somebody else, so my girl's cheating on me. But well, Miss right. Middleton, Mr. Rouser, what are the good things? How was it when you first met? We do have good times. I mean, our chemistry is great. Like, we go out, we try different restaurants together. You know, we go and find But they're his things. restaurants and we that go together, is. so... But Come on, Miss Middleton. That's that's the, that's oh, wait, 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 no, wait, like, wait. Now, wait. You been, you, now you're being picky, Miss Middleton. He's taking you out to restaurants, but they're his restaurants. <laughs> Petty He's falling. taking you out. Y'all can't even agree on the good times. There were good times, weren't there? Yes. Okay, so you admit there were good times. And she now, smiled, so it's yeah, true. I know the good times. What was it about him that made you say, okay, I'm interested? He kind of cute or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jay is a very nice person. And <laughs> our, our relationship was so organic. It was just pure court, you know, courting. And you don't get that anymore. You know, he would come to the bar, how are you today? You know, have you had lunch? Just cute little conversation. It would be on his way. So you letting me just kind of wonder more. And I, I like that a lot, you know? So he wasn't just trying to get your name, get your number, put you to bed. Not, not at all. Nah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I see him hanging out with the guys at work, and I know what y'all talk about, but he never came to me with that. So then that made him stand apart from everyone else, you know? Okay. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Mr. Yeah. Rouser. Yeah. I was, I was raised kind of right. He used raised. to be... <laughs> he used to be a very good boyfriend. So you took your time, did it right. Yes, ma'am. When things got started in the beginning, right? You know how that is. I don't know how y'all were. Y'all still kind of close, right? <laughs> Obviously. So yeah. you know what that's like, just being hip to hip all the time. Okay, well... No, I... we don't know anything about <laughs> yeah, that. We, 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 we've, only, we've only worked together for the last 28 years. Right. <laughs> but Taylor wants to hang out with other people. Let me miss you a little bit. Let and me I go get in. That. Let me so remind myself of why that. you're my boyfriend, why I'm not with just him. Just say that. Why do it's I have to say that when just I come Just say that. All you give me an option. Say, be listen, more babe, today I need to be... Okay, all right. Just all right. say it. We can agree that at one point it was good and then at some point you start having concerns. Yeah. Why do you think that Ms. Middleton is cheating? Just like one in particular time, like July 4th weekend. That's a big weekend for me. So... I have, I'm usually at her house, so I left my stuff at her house, right? I called Your DJ her. equipment? Yes, my DJ equipment. Okay. So I called her that morning about 11 o'clock, like, hey, what you doing? She's like, I'm going to brunch with my girls. 
Cool, that's fine. You know, enjoy your day. What time will you be back? Oh, I'll be back at about 5 o'clock. All right, that's ample time for me to do what I got to do, right? So I get to her house about 6.15. Where is Taylor? She pull up about 6.45, right? She get out of the car looking crazy. I mean, as you see, her hair is well put together. That is not how her hair was when she, when she pulled up on me. Her shirt all the way down here and stuff, and she rushing, like, trying to hurry up and get out the car. I'm like, like, what's going on? What are you doing? Like, they must be serving more than mimosas at that uh, brunch. Like... Who's, what's going who on? Who says stuff like that? Like, so go- so, that's how you greet me at the door? So I walk in the house to get my stuff. She hands me the DJ set, but lets it go. So it hits the ground. And the whole thing about this is you think the reason she came home late and disheveled and got mad and broke your equipment is because she was out with somebody else. Yeah, because you shaking and grooving at, with mimosas with your other friends or whoever else that you you're exactly. kicking it with. Exactly, exactly. Is there any person in particular you believe she was cheating with at that time? I kind of believe it was a co-worker because it was just like, you know, you're always with this guy and then miraculously y'all decided to quit at the same time. How does a woman as, as put together as yourself just show up on 4th of July just disheveled and a mess? The turn up is real. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say that. I live in Atlanta. Um... Brunch comes around, mimosas are flowing, they don't really stop. Music comes on after chicken and waffles are gone. Like, we're getting it in on a Sunday. I don't understand why you would feel like that's any different than any other time I've been to brunch. You know how I come back and I'll put it back together and make the next step. What's the issue? I cut my, my fun time short to come and accommodate you. Right, but but you, none, of that, is, none again, of that is ever you a concern. You just said so, that. But, but wait, like, Ms. Ms. me with Ms. the Middleton, disheveled comment. Yeah, like, what on, do you Ms. mean? Miss Middleton, you said you cut your fun time short. The fun time is what I want to talk about. Who you having fun time with? Were you Friends. with another man? Friends. Friends. Were you with a coworker? Coworker was there. Were you cheated with friend? the coworker? No. And I didn't break your DJ equipment. <laughs> Did you drop it? It wasn't a hand-to-hand exchange. I was going to put it down on the couch near him. What happened after it touched the couch? I'm not gonna vouch for any of that. Well, look. Let me, let me explain it this way. We have three sons. And sons are hard on the house. Ooh, and I can wait. tell you the number of times we've come home and something's broken, and we ask, how did this get broken? Nobody ever dropped anything. Nobody ever broke anything. It's always, it fell. <laughs> it dropped. It got broke. So what you're saying is, you I'm didn't break it, but it got broke. your honor that it was broken prior to me handing him his equipment. All right, Mr. Rouser, is this the only concern you have about the coworker? No, it's just, I, I told you, um, I was on break one time, I went downstairs, and she in the, co- in the car with the coworker. And I'm like, you know, the seat all laid back, y'all chilling and stuff like we're, that. We're on break. Wait, I'm hold on, okay, hold on, That's hold not... on, let's... <laughs> so, you go on break. Yeah, where we all park our cars at, and all right. I, you know... Happened to look to my right, and her and him in the car, you know, they got the seat all laid back, and he just, you know, I guess, engaged in the conversation or whatever. So I'm like, this is the same coworker you telling me not to worry about. But well, you in the car with this man. Her. We have a whole entire break room. That's all I'm at. That's all Jay, what we do in the car on Ms. break Middleton? to work? So what are you talking <laughs> Ms. Middleton? Please. Yeah, well, but that's the thing. What we do on break in the all car. Right. They ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Nothing incriminating, is it? Miss Middleton. Is it? Miss Middleton, why are you sliding downstairs to the, the garage or I the mean, parking it's, lot? It's work. You're never really on break if you're still at work. You stepped outside. In outside car. into a car? Yeah, maybe I'm taking a phone call. Maybe in I want car. to feel this breeze come through the car real quick. I don't understand why. Ain't no breeze in no parking garage. <laughs> where is the breeze? Miss Middleton. Like, where is the breeze? Mr. Rouser, is there any other man that you're concerned about? It's like this Rico Suave looking type dude that work at this bar, right? Rico Suave. Yeah, got this little, you know, his shirt all, he? you know, tight and stuff. You know, I'm small, so <laughs> he had work at this bar that we went to. I've never been to this bar before. Never been. So we sit at the bar, you know. As soon as we sit down, he hand her a drink. He like, oh, I already know how you like it, right? So I'm looking at her like... But then they having casual conversation and then about... Seven to eight minutes go by. He's like, oh, yeah, I know you like your drinks every seven minutes. So I'm like, come on, man. Like that, you know, so now I'm asking questions like, you, you been here before without me? She's like, oh, yeah, I come with the coworkers. Ain't never told me about it, you know. At least give me a heads up and let me know what's going on so I don't look stupid. Okay, so, Mr. You Rouser, I, did, I gotta family. ask a question. She's a bartender. You're a bartender, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so she's bound to know other bartenders. Is there something wrong with her communicating with another bartender and knowing it? I'm just saying, she go out and somebody just hand her a drink, like, oh, I know how you like it every seven minutes. How are you gonna feel about that? Why does everything have to be an issue? Why does everything have to take you down to this <laughs> so insecure you... moment? Why? He sat there and let him, you know, the bartender and I talk for minutes and then just, you know, 
recluse. He just went away from the conversation and then gonna call me, you know, a cheater because of it. You're just irritated. sitting there talking to him. I'm sitting there. I'm not getting no attention. But you step back and you sipped your jack and just pouted the whole time. I'm not gonna right. entertain that. Has she ever talked to this bartender outside of your presence? Speaking of that night, I mean, we went out. I mean, we went uh, back to her house and stuff. So I'm laying in her lap. So I look to the right. Her phone right there is a bunch of hard, you know, th uh, hard eyes on the name and then it's an eggplant emoji, right? <laughs> We all know oh. it has been hashtag eggplant before, you know? So, <laughs> you know, she picked the phone up, phone right here. Like, mind you, I'm laying her, trying to be peaceful, trying to lay in her lap, the phone here. Who texts like this, yo? I don't know how to change Who? the setting on my phone and it's little. You don't even know how I knew how I knew it was the guy because I, when she went to the bathroom, I swiped oh. and I called the, called the number. Was it Rico Suave it, or the co -worker? It was Rico Suave. Okay. You feel know me? Yeah. And I ain't say nothing. He just like, hello, you know, hello. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why is, is he, he sending, sending you, you an eggplant emoji? Okay, yes. because so we're on this vegan destination, right? So we're meal prepping together, and it was just a joke. It was a joke. So out of all the, the, the vegetables like in they the vegetable, vegetable community... They, thank you. They, they, they are the <laughs> way. All the vegetables. He's been eggplant. He I sends you an eggplant emoji. Out of all of them. Okay. Mr. Rosen, tell me what you're afraid of. Uh, it's just like, I'm afraid that I'm, I'm afraid I'm not enough for her. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a big secret, but it's kind of a thing. Like, I am transgender, okay? okay? I used to be, I was born a woman, all right? Okay. So, it's a lot of things that I can't give to you that a biological or cisgender man can't give you. You know, I'm working on myself. So, certain things, it's like, I have to be like, cautious of, because if, if somebody else is, I feel like somebody else is doing that for you, what I can't provide for you, and I'd rather you say that to me so I know what I need to work on. You know what I mean? So you're afraid that because you were born a woman, you don't have all the male parts that she needs? It's not even about the male parts, because I'm doing what I'm doing. You feel me? But it's just like, you know, emotionally sometimes can be maybe a little bit too emotional, or I'm too clingy. And I get, I understand that. But say that. Don't just beat down my throat like, oh, what are you doing? Like, I don't like that. I don't... I don't all you gotta do is talk to me, baby. Why be redundant? Actions speak louder than words. And that's why we're where we are now. Ms. Okay. Middleton, right. when did you find out that your boyfriend was born a woman? Four or five months into our friendship. And he was very open with me. Um, and I've been very sensitive to that, just wanting to make sure that your needs are being met as well, because I know that's difficult. In doing so, it's causing me to be accused of being a cheater. And that's not fair. I give you way more understanding than what I'm getting. Way more understanding. I'm, I'm just marveling at this because you all clearly love each other. And you have some fears about that which makes you different. And you're saying, I love you and this is not it and I'm not doing anything wrong. I have not cheated on him. I've been very loyal, very faithful to him. Your, your feelings are always hurt. My feelings are hurt, too. I'm tired of being accused of doing something I'm not doing. And that is why this court ordered Miss Middleton to take a polygraph test to get to the truth. <laughs> and we have those results. Ron, please escort uh, Mr. Shell into the courtroom, please. Yes, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Your Honor. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. So, you conducted a polygraph test of Miss Middleton. Is that correct? I did, Your Honor. Okay. Miss Middleton was asked, since the start of your relationship, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Mr. Rouser? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being... The lie detector determined she was being deceptive. Yeah. See, I know, I know I'm not tripping, man. I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not. Ms. But Middleton. It, we good, Hold though. on. Wait, wait. Miss Middleton, what happened? So, like, when we first started hanging out, you know, still getting to know my friend here, you know, I had friends that didn't end immediately. Once we became committed, that was that, you know? But honestly, lately, since I've been getting all this pressure from him, I don't want to be around. And I've acquired other friends no, recently. Don't, don't when you say it. friends, do you mean lovers? It's a loose term, but yes. Mr. Rouser, what is the status of your relationship with Miss Middleton? That's dead, baby. That's dead. I don't feel that way. 
And it's I like, like I've been pushed. I feel like I've been pushed to the <sighs> edge of this relationship. And clearly, I, okay. I care. I'm let, here. Let, let, you just stated to the court that you found some other friends and that there's been some kind of physical activity with that person. That sounds like we're done. Yeah. Mr. Rouser, I've got a son exactly your age. He's called me brokenhearted. What about my broken heart? <laughs> Well, how, how I don't understand heart, how this is it. It's, it's not about you right now. It's not about you right now. Because it never is. But Which is why, once you add all these accusations on, yeah. uh, on top of a lack of attention go. and other issues, then you get to this point. You know, I... This is not about us beating you up because of this. This is about us hopefully giving you tools to be successful, whether it's this relationship or a different one. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. And, Mr. Rouser, we're going to give you some advice, too. Because when you're in a relationship, you can't be so suspicious where the person feels trapped. So that's something you need to work on. We have counseling available for both of you. I think you all are a beautiful couple. I hope you can figure it out. But as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a beautiful, healthy, happy relationship. Court is adjourned.